Hi and welcome. In this episode, we are going to talk about downloading and parsing New York data. Uh, in the previous three episodes, we've talk, uh, discussed and we have then the Toronto data uh, and uh, make ready for, we made ready for uh, data analysis and we have uh, scrapped uh, Toronto data. We have also uh, cleans, uh, cleaned the Toronto data and uh, and save into the uh, CSV files for uh, next time uh, for the data analysis uh, stages. So we're uh, in this episode, uh, if you are not watching, the previous three episodes, you can watch episode one, episode two, and episode three. And you can, uh, uh, so if, if you, you didn't watch yet, so you can watch them and uh, uh, you can continue uh, learning uh, the data science uh, because this is a real world uh, data science project. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to download uh, and parse New York data. So uh, here there is uh, a URL that the data set is found. Uh, you can find in the description box of this video. All the uh, data source links are available. You can uh, check out uh, them. And uh, so we, uh, we can use uh, WGATES uh, uh, mechanism and we can save into JSON file. JSON is by the way, one of the data storage uh, file formats. We can store large amount of data in the form of JSON. There are a lot of uh, data storages. Uh, so JSON is one of uh, unstructured, uh, it, it can it gonna store unstructured data. So we are going to uh, parse this JSON file JSON data into uh, tabular formats uh, uh, using uh, for data analysis purpose. All right, so uh, I have downloaded the data uh, from the data sources, uh, the servers, and uh, uh, it's it downloaded into a JSON file and it, it's uh, a source just like this. Futures are uh, just stores. The geometry, geometry uh, also keep uh, hold is the latitude and longitude. The properties uh, hold is the name, the name of the city and the borough, neighborhood and borough. So all the latitude, longitude, neighborhood and boroughs are uh, available in this uh, data set. So we're gonna extract and uh, parse this data set into a structured format. So be, because this is unstructured, JSON is not a structured uh, data uh, storage. Unstructured data, but it, it large volume of data can be stored in JSON format. So we, we, we're going to uh, uh, transform it into a structured format. OK, For the first thing, just uh, parsing JSON. So first, we open the file JSON, uh, import the JSON, import JSON. This is a library and we open that JSON uh, that is New York, New York data dot JSON. So as an object, we can save JSON object. And here, uh, the New York, New York, we use JSON.load. Load uh, is that going to load from JSON library. We can import, uh, we can uh, use load that going to load the JSON file into uh, a dictionary, actually, it, it parses into dictionary. And just uh, on data. Okay, then uh, outside this, 
uh, we can check New York and you can see, yeah, this is uh, parsed, the JSON file is loaded into a dictionary. Now we can uh, simple, uh, we, it is simple to uh, uh, parse the dictionary because we can refer by key, key value. So uh, from this dictionary, we are going to find the futures uh, key, uh, key from the, the uh, dictionary. And the keys also uh, hold a lot of uh, data, uh, type, future, uh, in the list of, uh, there is a dictionary in the list of the key futures. And uh, but our point is just finding the coordinates uh, uh, from this futures uh, key. There is another key that's found in the list. Coordinates, uh, latitude, longitude, and the uh, properties that is going to uh, uh, be extracted, the neighborhood and the borough. All right, now uh, let's uh, find a neighborhood from this. For example, uh, new, uh, neighborhood data, that is, uh, we can just New York futures, just extracting futures from this uh, data. Uh, that's, uh, let's check New York with this data. Yes, all the futures are extracted and uh, stored in the list. Uh, each list contains a dictionary. Each list uh, contains a dictionary and we are going to uh, parse the dictionary uh, and find the properties and coordinates from each dictionary in the list. So we are going to iterate over uh, this. Uh, first of all, let's create uh, a column and names for our data frame because this data are going to be uh, transformed into data frame. Call column and names. That is borough, neighborhood, latitude, and Longitude, longitude. All right, this is our columns in the data frame. So our target is just finding uh, borough, neighborhood, uh, latitude, and longitude from uh, this uh, neighborhood is underscore data because we have extracted the uh, futures from JSON file uh, from dictionary. Uh, the JSON is already parsed into dictionary and we have extracted the uh, neighborhood data, which contains the uh, boroughs, neighborhood and latitude and longitude. So uh, the data that's uh, based on the futures key, key, key from uh, the dictionary. All right, now we are going to uh, uh, create uh new idea data frame that is uh pd dot data frame and this columns column and names are call name uh let's check our data frame this data frame uh, is empty. There are no uh, rows uh, in this data frame. So because uh, the next time we are going to uh, append uh, each uh, row from the uh, dictionary in the list into this data frame. So we are going to uh, loop through uh, the data. Uh, we are going to loop uh, through the data and fill data frame. Yeah, 
just uh, fill the data frame one row at a time at a time uh, so uh, in this case we are going to iterate because here we have uh, seen that uh, this data is contains a list of dictionaries a list of dictionaries and we are going to parse this for every data in uh, newer for this data uh, from each data, because uh, each item in the list contains a dictionary. From that dictionary, we are going to parse the borrow coordinates and uh, let's check out here. Uh, for example, uh, let's mirror for this data. Let's five, the first five. Oh, no, no, it, in a, one is enough. One's Let's slice one. This is the first item, the list, the first item. From this uh, item, there is a dictionary. Each item, the list is a dictionary. So from this uh, dictionary, we're going to find uh, the coordinates. So uh, that is iterating over the neighborhood this data. Uh, let's borrow, find the borrow. Newer this the borrow is just uh, data from data we are going to find the borrow this. Uh, from properties, from properties, this is inside that. The from properties, we are going to properties, and from the entire properties, there, there there is uh, another key that is uh, borrow sub key or nested uh, dictionary borrow. All right. Then uh, the next is the neighborhood name neighborhood uh, name uh, this uh, neighborhood name is also uh, found in the properties in the properties in the name uh, key so neighborhood name uh, we can uh, copy this and paste here and change this to name and the other is the coordinates uh, latitude longitude is not found in the properties, uh, uh, just directly found it uh, in this list, in the data. So we are going to uh, latitude. I mean, uh, this is found in the uh, geometry, not uh, in the inside the, the geometry, uh, okay. Latitude is uh, data uh, geometry. And from geometry, we are going to find uh, the key coordinates. From that coordinates, we are going to find the first index. The first index uh, that is index because that is contains a list, uh, contains two uh, items. From two items, the first item is latitude and the second item, uh, item is uh, longitude. All right. So from uh, coordinates, we are uh, just called the first item index zero. And longitude is, uh, we, we can uh, copy this. And we change uh, the, the second element in the list is longitude. All right, Gen uh, change it to one. I mean, uh, so, uh, okay. Latitude, latitude and uh, uh, sorry. Uh, in this case, the, late, the first item is uh, longitude, not latitude. 
so we have to change to one and uh, zero. Sorry for my mistake. All right, now uh, let's append uh, each row. This is one row from a list in the neighborhood data. And we are going to append this list in the data frame uh, because loop through the data and fill the data frame one row at a time. This is one row and we are going to append uh, to NYDF, that is NYDF dot append. Uh, just uh, we call the borrow as a dictionary and we just call borrow value from this and neighborhood, neighborhood, and we call neighborhood name and uh, latitude. That is lats, that's good. And the last one, the last uh, column is uh, longitude. That is long. All right, we have finished this part. And finally, uh, we can uh, run this. And all uh, iteratively say, uh, okay, neighborhood uh, invalid syntax here. There is, there is, there is neighborhood. Oh, this is, this should be outside this, all right. Okay, can only append a dict if ignore index true. Okay, uh, ignore index true. All right, let's call NY data. So this for loop iteratively append each data from uh, this uh, list, from this list, and uh, uh, we can check out it. Yeah, all right. We have uh, parsed our data from uh, this JSON file and we get the right format, borough, neighborhood, uh, latitude and longitude. So we, we can check out here. Uh, for example, so for the first uh, item, the list uh, is this dictionary item. From this dictionary item, we got uh, in the first row, borrow, uh, the borrow name is browse. Browse is uh, the borrow uh, name. And the neighborhood is CO of the city, that is the city name. Uh, probably that is, uh, yeah. And the latitude is 407, that is this is longitude and this is uh, latitude. All right, this is our uh, uh, data frame because this is the first uh, index. We can check the first element, the first item. The first item is, uh, all right, the name is work field. Yeah, this is. Now our data is transformed into tabular format. It is uh, ready for data analysis. So uh, let's make sure that how many uh, data have, how many number of boroughs and neighborhoods in this data set. Let's check out. Uh, let's check. Check the shape of. the data set, print the data frame has and I mean, borrows and neighbor for this. Uh, let's formats 
this len length of the NYDF, the borrow and just finding the unique elements from this. All right, and and finally we just df dot shape that is uh, index zero. The data frame has uh, okay couple objects has. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, this is uh, not a tuple. It is uh, index. All right. Yeah, the data frame has five boroughs and uh, 306 neighborhoods. This is the right uh, data we got from, so there are five unique uh, boroughs, five unique, five different boroughs and 306 neighborhoods, total number of uh, neighborhoods. We can check uh, the data frame uh, of this NY data shape, how many rows and how many columns, uh, I mean, sorry, it is DF data frame. Yeah, 306. 306 uh, rows and four columns. The column names are borough, neighborhood, latitude, and longitude. From this uh, data set, we have five unique boroughs and 316 neighborhoods. So uh, this is our data uh, for New York data set. We have extracted, parsed, and transformed into the tabular format into data frame. Uh, next time we will see uh, the four square API, how can we get the values of long, uh, latitude and longitude from uh, four square uh, uh, from uh, Google uh, using four square API. Uh, thanks for watching, watch the next video.